Welcome! In this tutorial, you will learn how to import an audio file into Audacity software. First, double-click Audacity to launch it. First thing, you will see a welcome message to give you a few tips about how to get started using Audacity. We'll click OK. So launching Audacity software, you will see a similar window like this. And first, I'll show you how to import a file into Audacity. There are three different ways to do so. First way is to simply drag and drop your uh, audio file onto stage. The second way is, so I'll just undo for a second. The second way is to go File, Import, Audio, and then you will look for your desired file and the third way is to use a keyboard shortcut which is Control i and if you're on a Mac you can use Shift Command i. The good thing about Audacity that you can use the undo function almost without limits while the project is open. To use the undo function you can use the keyboard shortcut again which is Control z If you're on a Mac, then the keyboard shortcut for the undo is Command-Z. So I'll just import it one more time. And there it is again. So when you import a file, your window will look like this, and it's depending on the file you have imported. So some files have really high um, waves and some are thinner or shorter waves according to uh, the sound level. Remember that Audacity can import different file format like WAV, AIFF files or AU files, IRCAM files, MP3 files and OGG files. So you learned how to import a file. Let's go ahead and click the green button to play it and you can adjust the volume through this slider here and play. This is the pause button which is pauses the playhead in the area when you click this button. The stop button it would just take the playhead back to the beginning of your track. It's a good practice to remember always save your project. This way you can start importing, recording, and editing and knowing that your project is saved. And make sure you save it into your directory into a spot that you remember how to get it later and you can just name it and I'll just name it test and save. Another thing that I'd like to show you is to check the preferences. So you go to Audacity menu, click on Preferences. Make sure your playback and recording devices are set. If you are going to record a stereo signal, set the number of channels re to record to two through the audio I.O. preferences. When picking a device to record from, make sure you've set all of the connections properly, such as plugging a microphone into the mic input and any other device into the line of your sound card. Click OK. So now you learned how to import an audio file and how to play it. Let's undo by using uh, the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Z. If you're on a Mac, you can use Command Z. And let's test how we can start recording our voices. To start recording, simply click on the record button here at the top. As soon as you click, your a new track will load for you to start recording. So this is just a test and you'll see that you have uh, the signals here for your voice waves and you can adjust the volume by using the sliders here. Let's click stop. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can now play around with your recording and explore the editing capabilities of Audacity. 
And remember that you can use the undo function almost without limits while your project is open. Thank you.